Hi guys, this current challenge is called 1D arrays in C. We need to write some codes to create an array of size N, and then we need to input the elements of the array and print the sum of the elements on a new line. So we don't need multiple for loops to handle that. We can do all of that in a single for loop. Obviously, we need to get user input for the size of N. And in this current challenge, we need to write the code for the user inputs ourselves. So we need to use the scanf function to collect user inputs. So the first line is going to be the value for n, the number of elements inside our array. And the second line is going to be the value for each and every single element. So this is the solution here on the right side. If you begin this challenge, the main function only comes with these comments, which we don't really need. So the first thing that I'm doing is I'm getting an integer called n. I'm simply declaring it. And then I have this sum integer that I'm initializing to zero. And that's the variable I'm going to use to get the sum of all the elements inside my array. And I also have this elements variable here that I'm not initializing yet. And that's a variable in which I'm going to store the user inputs for each and every single element inside my array. So the next line gets the user inputs, the value for n with the scan f function. And then this third line is what creates the array dynamically. So when you create an array dynamically, that means that you need to create it on the heap. And this implies that you're going to receive a pointer. So in C++, we are used to the new keyword. But in C, we normally use the malloc function. Because we are expecting a pointer, we have this int pointer that I'm calling A. And then here I'm using the malloc function to get the size necessary to create my array. So we know that our array is going to be an array of integers. So I have the size of an integer times n. And the reason why I'm saying times n is because if we have six elements inside our array, then we want to have enough space to store six integers in our array. And that's why I have n times size of int. And this is going to return me a void pointer. So I need to cast it into an int pointer. Next up, I have this for loop. And inside my for loop, I am getting the user inputs for every single element. So from index zero all the way to index five for this example here. Now, after I get the user inputs, what I do is I store it at the correct position inside my array. So I'm saying I want to store the value that I just got inside the elements at position i in my array. And then I'm adding that value to my total sum and I can print it right here. So that's it. When I'm done, I can run this code. We just passed the test cases. So I'm just submitting it now and we're done. So that's it for this current challenge. If you liked my solution, please subscribe to my channel, turn on your notifications, drop your questions in the comment section, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.